she's bold, she's fiery, and she has no filter. But most importantly, she's fast. This is Lily King, the world's top breaststroker. Lily conquers the 100 and 200 meter breaststroke and has earned multiple Olympic gold medals and won more than a dozen world championship medals competing for the United States of America. She is not afraid to talk a little trash and she loves McDonald's and her Crocs. Welcome to my swim pro and today we're going to break down Lily King's epic swimming career so far. Make sure you like this video and subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell for more swimming videos. Let's dive in. Lily King was born and raised in Indiana. She started swimming when she was just seven years old, and she says that swimming was the only thing that could calm her down. Swimming was her first love, and it turns out swimming runs in the family. Lily's mom swam collegiately, and so did her younger brother. When her high school team's practices weren't challenging enough, Lily started swimming with the local masters group in the mornings and joined a competitive club, the Newburgh Sea Creatures. Making that switch really paid off. At just 16 years old, she won the 100 breaststroke at the Winter Junior Nationals with a 59.67. She also won two gold medals at the 2014 Junior Pan Pacific Championships, plus a silver and bronze medal at the 2015 World University Games, all before going to college. Then at college, Lily King really came into the spotlight. She stayed close to home and swam for the Indiana University Hoosers. During her time there, she proved to herself and the world that she's one of the best short course yard breaststrokers of all time. As a freshman, Lily won the NCAA titles in the 100 and 200 yard breaststrokes in a 56.85 and 203.59 respectively. Those times set an American, NCAA, US Open, and Big Ten records, plus a few others. Not too shabby. She swept the 100 and 200 breaststroke at the NCAAs the following three years as well. This made her the second woman to win both events four years in a row. In 2018, she became the first woman to break 203 in the 200 yard breaststroke, setting a new world time in 202.60. Her senior year, she broke the 100 breaststroke record as well with a blazing 55.73, the fastest time ever done on US soil. And with times like that, it's safe to say that Lily is an incredible swimmer. She knows it, and she's not afraid to let others know it as well. Lily is known among her teammates for having no filter. She is unapologetically herself and speaks her mind when the other swimmers might stay in their own lane, so to say. Those personality traits were on full display at the 2016 Rio Olympics. In the 100 meter breaststroke, Lily was up against the reigning world champion, Yulia Yefimova of Russia who just finished a 16-month doping ban after testing positive for a steroid hormone. Yulia had also tested positive for a performance-enhancing drug in 2016, but there wasn't enough research to prove how long it stayed in the human body, so she wasn't suspended. While some swimmers may have chosen to steer clear of the controversy and focus on their individual races, Lily spoke out. She said cheating is serious, and Yulia should have been banned from competing. After winning her heat in the 100 breaststroke semifinals, Yulia wagged her finger victoriously at the camera as Lily watched from the ready room. She started wagging her finger right back at her with an expression of distaste. And of course, she was caught on camera doing it. After winning the next semifinal heat and taking the top seed, Lily threw up a number one and wagged her finger one more time. In a post-race interview, she explained her reaction saying, you wave your finger number one, and you've been caught drug cheating? I'm not a fan. The finger wagging went viral, and when Lily King got back to the Olympic Village that night, she suddenly had more than 35,000 Instagram followers. This public response almost threw Lily off her game, but with the help of her roommates, she got her mindset back on track, and she was going to win. In the finals, Lily's competitiveness took over. While Yulia did everything in her power to ignore Lily behind the blocks, Lily looked right at her, staring her down, keeping herself cool and collected. She admitted that she was so focused that she doesn't even remember much about the few minutes before the race. 
After an all-out battle in the last 15 meters, Lily outtouched Yulia by about half a second to win the gold, saying in a post-race interview that it's possible to compete clean and still do well at the Olympic Games. And she's certainly proof of that. After the Rio Olympics, Lily maintained the throne as the breaststroke queen. At the 2017 World Championships, she broke the world record in the 100 meter breaststroke, taking down Yulia Yefimova's yet again blazing time in a 104.13. She broke the world record in the 50 breaststroke as well, winning gold in a 29.60. She finished out the meet with another world record in the women's 400 meter medley relay, teaming up with USA teammates Kathleen Baker, Kelsey Dahlia, and Simone Manuel. Team USA broke that world record again at the 2019 Worlds, and Lily was a part of that relay as well. She defended her world championship title in the 150 meter breaststroke in those 2019 World Championships, continuing to keep Yulia Yefimova at bay. She also won a few national titles and brought home one gold and three silver medals at the 2018 Pan Pacific Championships. In 2019, Lily competed in the inaugural season of the International Swim League. Swimming for the Cali Condors, she won all 16 events that she raced in during the season. She also dominated the 2020 ISL season in Budapest, Hungary, remaining undefeated in the 100 breaststroke and taking home more than $250,000 in prize money, second only to the great Caleb Dressel. By the time the U.S. Olympic trials came along in 2021, the public was very familiar with Lily King and her fierce competitive attitude. What many didn't know though, is she's also an incredible teammate. Lily was expecting to make Team USA in the 100 and 200 breaststroke. Her teammate Annie Laser was along for the ride in that 200 breaststroke. Annie joined the Indiana team in 2017 and settled into place as Lily's training partner. They push each other day in and day out to be the best that they can. Lily challenges Annie in the 50 and 100, and Annie gives Lily a run for her money in the 200 breaststroke. And their relationship extended beyond the pool. After Annie unexpectedly lost her dad in 2021, Lily promised Annie's mother that she'd do everything possible to help get Annie on that Olympic team. Before the start of the 200 breaststroke at trials, Lily said to Annie, I love you, let's do this. And they did. Annie and Lily finish 1-2 in the 200 breaststroke. They embrace shouting, we did it. In an emotional post-race interview, Annie commended Lily for being so supportive both in and out of the pool. They're truly a family and how amazing it is to qualify for the Olympics with your training partner. They trudged through every single practice together, every good day and every tough day, and they both made it. Beyond the emotional 200 breaststroke, Lily also qualified for the 100 breaststroke and got ready for Tokyo. And Tokyo was certainly full of surprises. In the semifinals of the 100 meter breaststroke, Tatiana Schoenmacher of South Africa outtouched Lily to take the top seed for the finals. It was the first time Lily had been beaten in the 100 breaststroke since 2015. And that wasn't even the most exciting part of the final. In the final, 17-year-old Lydia Jacoby pushed past Lily and Tatiana to win gold. Lily still made it on the podium taking the bronze medal and despite her fiercely competitive nature, Lily celebrated Lydia's win, congratulating her young teammate on an impressive swim. After that all-out battle in the 100 breaststroke, Lily shifted her focus to the 200. Tatiana Schoenmacher was a major contender yet again and as was Lily's teammate Annie Laser. Lily gave it her all in the final, but it wasn't enough. Tatiana won gold and broke the world record with an incredible performance. Lily took silver, Annie took bronze, and the women were quick to congratulate Tatiana on her gold medal and new world record. Lily also earned a silver medal for her contribution to the women's 4x1 medley relay. True to her usual outspoken ways, Lily had a few things to say about the Tokyo Olympics. Just like she did in 2016, Lily voiced her distaste for doping. She made comments alluding that the Russian team should not have been competing, that she wasn't the only one. Lily also said that the United States has a tendency to downplay medals that aren't gold, when they should be celebrated. She worked hard and earned her silver and bronze medals with thousands of hours of work day in and day out. So what exactly does her training schedule look like anyway? 
Lily has continued training with a postgraduate group at Indiana University alongside other elite swimmers like Cody Miller and Blake Peroni. She trains four to five hours per day, mixing swimming with CrossFit sessions in the gym to build strength and power. She shoots for eight to 10 hours of sleep every night, plus a nap if she has time. When you train like an Olympian, you've got to recover like one too. Even when she's training hard though, she makes time to indulge in a McDonald's Happy Meal every week. Through the COVID-19 pandemic, Lily stayed committed to her training. When all the pools closed in her area, she and her teammates trained at a pond. They got dangerously close to some snapping turtles, but came out unscathed. To put yourself through all that grueling training year after year, you really have to love this sport. And boy, does Lily love it. She lives for the high pressure racing. According to her coach, Ray Luz, that's when the best comes out of her. And you can tell, she's so comfortable behind the blocks, she's focused and ready to give it her all. Lily has said that she has an alter ego in the ready room. She becomes beast mode, evil Lily, staring people down, smirking at them, and even laughing in their faces. She promises she's not like that out of the competition pool. We'll see about that. And it probably helps that she has an intriguing pre-race ritual. She drinks a Coke and rocks a pair of Crocs. She always has a pair for every occasion. From her competitiveness and confidence to her sportsmanship and stylish footwear choices, we can all learn a lot from Lily King. She represents what swimming is all about. It's all about enjoying the journey, helping your teammates be the best that they can, and leaving everything that you've got in the pool. Thanks for watching, and let me know which swimmer we should feature next. Share your thoughts down below in the comments, and if you haven't already subscribed, destroy the like button, subscribe to the channel, and of course, hit that notification bell so you're alerted at the next video. Until next time, happy swimming.